This morning, we're remembering a television icon. Actress Bonnie Franklin died Friday at the age of 69 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. For a generation of single mothers, she embodied their struggles and their triumphs with her pioneering role as a divorced mom raising two teenage daughters on one day at a time. ABC's Chris Conley has a story. This is it. Through nine seasons as single parent Ann Romano, Bonnie Franklin was one of the mightiest moms in sitcom. I think you better get this all out in the open here. You see, I'm not married. A divorcee in velour, raising two daughters, one aching to drive in the fast lane. Sex is like peanuts. Once you start, you just can The other still parked at the curb. I want to be a nice girl. I want to be like Julie. Always offering compassion, a quick wit, and a ready-for-anything attitude. We all have to get out and make it on our own. From its 1975 premiere, this Norman Lear-produced show struck a nerve. Oh, I guess it's been a long time since we've had a man sleep over, huh? No. With Franklin's feminism bringing a bracingly up-to-date reality to the standard sitcom as she recalled to Good Morning America at a One Day at a Time TV Land cast reunion just last year. The truth of the matter was we were reflecting what was out there. It just had not been on television mm. before. But it's all worth it. Bonnie Franklin's career went beyond television. Her 1970 Broadway musical debut earned her a Tony nomination, and she showcased her dancing skills in a workout DVD entitled, I Hate to Exercise, I Love to Tap. Yet it's one day at a time that will be her beloved legacy, not just with audiences, but with the cast that treasured her always. In the wake of her death, Valerie Bertinelli tweeting, my heart is breaking. Stick with me, huh? We'll make it. I promise. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles.